this is our workout for March 25th. Hello there, and welcome back. This is going to be one of my last tapes on uh, my website. I am getting ready to do a new video that will have several workouts on it for you. It will be available here soon. So uh, you'll be seeing me post that all over our websites. But in the meantime, this week what we're doing is if you have double bells, more the merrier. If not, you can use just single bells. But what we're going to start off with is if you have a stepper, that's a wonderful place to start. You'll do 10 steps on one side and then 10 steps on the other side using your legs. Remember to push up and push down. If you don't have steppers, then you'll either pick up just a single bell and do your high kicks. Or you can just do them one time over to this side and 10 over here and so on. If you've got double bells, it makes it that much easier. Clean them, rack them in, make a shelf. All right. Remember, if you have that bad back, you need to stay stationary, drive it up, or just straight here. Do not twist the back. All right. So those are your uh, high kicks. Squat presses. What we're wanting to do this week is, again, if you have double bells, then you're going to double rack them. You're going to come down into your squat, push up off the heels, and then pull down. You're going to do this to a series of 10, 8, and 6. If you only have one bell, then you're going to do one side, five on one side, And then you'll switch over and do the amount on the other side. So five, four, three series if you only have one. Then we're going to do side bends. Side bends, you can use that weight. Come down. Make sure you kick out that hip. Look to this direction here. A bad one is you come in here and go in like that. You can also, if you have a really light weight, Go up over top, but this one you got to be very careful. If you have bad shoulders or a bad back, do not do it this way. But you can start up here, kick out the hip, lean slightly to the side, back to the center. The key to this one, and I can't show you wrong because it will tear me up, is if you go over and you let this drop way over here, then you're in trouble. All right? So side bends. Then you're going to finish up with a 30-second mountain climbers where you're going to come down here. It's a push-up position. Shoulders over the, the hands, and you're going to drive the knee to the chest for 30 seconds. It's 30 second timing. You need to go as slow as possible on those because if you start out real quick, you'll never make it 30 seconds, okay? When you're done, I'd like for you to finish up with the what we call the side swings. So what that is, is it's just you coming down with the bell, and then when you come up, you tap to the side of the foot. All right. So what you do is you start out with one, and then you move two steps to the side, two steps to the other side, and you can continue on three, and then we do we go back and go four and five for a total of uh, thirty of these all together when you get done with the count. So one, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. When you're done, you can finish up with what we call the bikini crunch. This is a beautiful little one, especially if you're wanting to get ready for swim season. Get down here. Don't crunch this way because that just makes the abs, it doesn't work the abs the way you want. When you crunch, look up ahead, flatten the abs down, and think one, two, three, four. You're going to hold and swim for four counts. Brace the toes up and down. Toe touches. And then you're going to bring them down, and you're going to cross. Three, four. Back down, and do it all over again. You want to try to do those at least five to ten times. When you first start out, you'll be good, good to go at five, all right? Have a beautiful week. We look forward to seeing you again.